morning you guys welcome back to another vlog i feel like the lighting on my camera has been a little weird lately emma and i recorded one episode of our podcast like on video and our podcast network had us like change around the settings on the camera and it is like just different than what it normally is and i need to see if i can like change it back because i swear it like washes me out and like washes out everything around me so i need to look at that but anyway welcome back to another vlog just got back from walking the dogs we went to the beach and i fed them that's like the first thing i do in the morning is like take care of the dogs before anything because they like need to eat they need to go out and i actually have a hair appointment this morning and i'm getting my hair cut it's like so long and just at the point where it's like i just don't even know what to do with it right now because i'm just not used to having long hair i haven't had long hair since like 2017 so it's been like forever but yeah i have that this morning also i don't know what to eat before my workout because i have a workout right after and i don't have enough time right now to cook it's like this whole this whole thing but anyway Sorry guys, Emma just called me and we have to cancel our workout <laughs> because she has somewhere to go today. <sighs> but honestly, I have so much work to do, so it's like fine anyway. But um, I guess so that like doesn't stress me out about eating anything because I was like really stressed out about what I was gonna eat before my workout because I was gonna go straight from my hair appointment to the workout and yeah anyway i'm like i have to leave for the hair appointment right now and i was gonna take an uber or have mac drop me off and then emma was gonna come pick me up after her laser and we were gonna go to the workout together but now that she can't go i'll just drive and i don't have to like rush around or anything and also i can like get my work done and then i'll just go to the gym later but i'm taking my probiotic and i take this symbiotic plus by ritual and this is a probiotic prebiotic postbiotic and i just love them so much it supports your gut health your digestion your immune health all that and i've been taking this one for a really long time and i've actually gotten comments from a few of you guys telling me that it's important to take a prebiotic and a postbiotic along with your probiotic so this one has all three in one and the symbiotic plus has a delayed release capsule so when you take the pill it will make it all the way to your colon before it like dissolves or whatever it does but that's like the ideal place for your gut health so they designed it so it like will reach the area that it's supposed to and i just really love them i've been taking them for so long and i cannot recommend them enough and i have a discount code it's maggie 20 if you go to ritual.com slash maggie 20 you will get 20 percent off of your first month so i will have that link down below in the description and use my code maggie 20 for 20 percent off from my hair appointment i brushed it and i feel like it kind of messed up how it was styled a little bit since actually i don't think it did but this is the hair i already got so many questions on instagram like what i ask for when i get my hair done and i literally don't know like anything specific i kind of just like go in there and i'm like ready for a cut and i just tell my hairdresser i'm like i want layers and i just don't want it to look like straight across and i want to give it like some type of you know like a look and then she literally just does her thing so i don't have like a specific thing that i ask for and i tried to ask her i was like john like what should i tell people when they ask me like what you do to my hair and she was like honestly i just add like long layers and fringe and she like said all these terms and i was like huh that's what she said i don't know <laughs> but uh, anyway i didn't have coffee today because i didn't have time to get one before i got my hair done and then i got out after we were supposed to have a workout and i didn't end up going my hair took a long time and i have stuff to do for the podcast like i have a bunch of work to do anyway so it's fine that the workout didn't work out today 
because I probably would be getting home like right now anyway and have to shower and all of that. Plus, I was like, I don't want to have to shower after I get my hair done and like ruin <laughs> my new hair. I just have like such low energy. I don't know what it is. It's like the end of my period right now. So I'm kind of just like, <sighs> and it's just gloomy. And it's what month is it right now? March. Yeah, it's March. And I just feel like it's been a long, long, long winter, like long few months. And I have a knot in my hair. <sighs> yeah, but I don't know. I'm just like going through it today a little bit. Just kind of feeling like more anxious and I don't know. Also, I haven't worked out since last week. So I think that that's also something that's been affecting me. I need to like start going to the gym or like doing something on my own and like get into a schedule of it but yeah i just like haven't been prioritizing working out and that's usually like what's really good for my mental health oh i don't know i just feel like i've been really busy with like work lately that i just like haven't made the time and i don't know I, want all, I also need to get better at like showing more of like the work that I'm doing behind the scenes because when I do vlog like I don't show anything that I'm doing for work and I feel like it looks like I literally don't do anything all day but <laughs> I don't know so I'm like trying to get better at showing you guys like everything I do but I'm about to record I have to do an ad read for our podcast okay I got my ad read done I also need to now go through some emails. I put together a list of pieces. Actually, I don't know when this vlog is gonna go up, but my Revolve collection launches March 30th and I'm posting the vlog from LA, which is like showing the actual shoot where we styled all the pieces and took pictures for the website and the campaign and everything. So I have this profile on this platform called shop my i'll show you guys what it is and basically i have this linked in all of my videos basically what it is is an area where if you guys are like looking for literally anything you can just go to my shop my and i have like they're called shelves i have different shelves so i have a home shelf i have th this was for my christmas gift guide i just never got rid of it but these are just like things that I love or like good gift ideas for girls. This is some home products. A majority of this stuff I own and love. So I just like put all of my favorites and it's an area where you guys will just be able to like get any links that you're looking for basically. And last night I created a shelf called Revolve Collection and once the pieces drop and they're on Revolve's website, they will all be here as well. But when you click on the shelf, I have all the pieces that we use to style my Revolve pieces and everything is linked here or something similar or something that's like less expensive. So for example, these shoes right here are the shoes that I wore in my shoot, these Stuart Weitzman heels, but I also linked on Shop My these heels, which I really want to get. They look like the YSL heels right now. And they are by Mark Fisher and they're just a slingback patent leather pump and they come in so many different colors. But I really, really love the black ones. I think that they're so chic and they're really great price also. And then we have like sweaters, sunglasses, bags, just everything that I wore to style my pieces, which you guys will see the pictures on my Instagram. Depending on when this video is up, I'm going to start posting everything March 27th. So, yeah. But I also just wanted to let you guys know that Shop My is available. And it's in the description of all my vlogs. And also, I have it on, like, my Hoobie link in my bio for Instagram. And something else that I do when I'm editing my vlogs and uploading them to YouTube, I will watch it over and I will pay attention to either something that I... I showed or something that I was wearing or just like a cup that I use like little things like that and I always make sure to link everything in my videos like I really tried to do that I used to be a lot better at it than I am now um, because I just thought that like maybe people like didn't care anymore but 
I was watching my old videos last night and I was just like, oh my God, there's like so many things that I used to do that I just like stopped doing. But just if you're wondering like where anything is ever from in the vlog, I always usually link it in the description and I, yeah, just want to let you guys know that. But also I was like watching my old vlogs last night and it's so weird just like watching different parts of my life. And I don't know, like I, if I see I was honestly on my video that I posted two days ago and I got a comment that said like something about like my old videos like I always see comments about people comparing me to who I was in my videos say from like 2020 or 2019 or 2018 like right when I started my channel and then I like will go back and I'll watch my videos I don't know if this is like a healthy thing for me to do because I mean, it's definitely not healthy that I'm like comparing myself now to myself back then, but I don't know. I just like to go through and watch my videos and I was just like, I definitely used to be, I don't know. I used to pick up the camera and I would like talk and talk and talk and just go on and on. And now I just feel like, I don't know why I haven't like done that in a while. I feel like sometimes I would like let things that I would like read about myself or like comments that I would get get to my head and then it makes me like overthink when I'm vlogging but then it just like doesn't make sense because these people are saying that they miss like a version of me that doesn't exist anymore from like a while ago but like the reason why I am that I, the way that I am now is because I feel like I am just like trying to I don't know I like change my content based on like seeing comments you know what I mean like I'm just like very like overthink too much but something that i'm working on this year is just like trying to just be more like carefree when i'm vlogging and just obviously like not reading anything about myself i don't know it's just like such a negative thing to do and just like not good for your mental health to like read anything about you on the internet but also it's just like it happens and it's just like if you had people writing stuff about you all the time like i don't know you like want to read it because you're like well what are they saying but at the same time then you do and you're like wait i literally feel so shitty about myself so it's like i don't know it's just weird but um yeah it's just like i don't know and then i don't want to address it because then it's like giving these people like the satisfaction that you even like were reading the negative things about you and like that it affected you you know what i mean but some of this stuff is just like so messed up and also so false um but yeah i just like never want to like talk about it or anything like that because it is like very negative and like doesn't make me feel good and i don't know but sometimes i do feel like it makes me like not even want to film or like not even want to share my life and I don't know just like makes me sad because like i really love youtube and i really love doing what i do and there's also so many more people who are supportive and so many more supportive comments than negative but it's just like i don't know why the negativity can just be so loud and i just like don't think that that's fair at all and i just always have to take a step back and be like there are so many more people who are so kind and so genuine and i need to like think about those people rather than letting the negative people win i don't know it's just weird because like i really am no different than you even though i film my life and i post it online like i still am human and i am just like i don't know normal but even though like what i choose to do for my job like isn't normal at all that's just all i have to say i don't really want to go obviously too into detail about it but just moral of the story is uh, I don't know that's just how I've been feeling and I just kind of wanted to talk about that I don't even know why I even started talking about this but I just feel like it definitely is something that affects like the way that I feel and maybe that's why I just felt like I had no energy today and I just felt like I wanted to like lay in bed and do nothing <sighs> you know what I mean and just like sit and just like relax but it's okay um anyway it's almost four o'clock now and i don't even know what i'm gonna do for dinner tonight it's thursday so i'm kind of like not in the mood to cook <sighs> i'm just like in the mood to order but i don't know 
Hi guys, I've been editing for like two hours <laughs> since I last talked to you guys and I was supposed to actually go to dinner tonight with Emma Payton, Payton's sister and her two friends because they're in town, but I'm gonna be able to hang out with them tomorrow because we are all doing something together. I'm supposed to go to... <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Mister? Hello, you know that you're so big and you can barely fit perfectly on the chair. Guys, Max like is obsessed with these chairs and he's so big but he like fits <laughs> like so perfectly in them. But I was supposed to go to dinner and I decided not to because I was like, you know what, I really need to get my work done because it's Thursday and it's the weekend tomorrow so I'm going to have like so much to do and I have a meeting in the morning and I just have like a lot going on so I'm like you know what I need to just stay in and not go to dinner and I've just like been feeling so relaxed I also I want to do a sauna but I don't want to mess up my hair because um, I'm obviously going to get all sweaty and I just feel like I haven't worked out in a while I want to like sweat and do something but I just don't think that I'm going to be able to because my hair will get messed up. I just ordered a bunch of food. I ordered this Italian restaurant that I was actually supposed to go to tonight for dinner, but I got arancinis and I got meatballs, spaghetti, garlic bread, and then this right here is the most incredible chocolate cake I've ever had in my whole entire life. <laughs> so I'm very, very excited. But I'm gonna make a little salad because I need to at least have some greens. I can't just have all pasta and meat. Plus I went to the grocery store and I have some arugula. So we're gonna make a little arugula salad. This salad is so simple, but it's so yummy. And I always get questions when I post me eating this, like what salad this is. So I just do arugula. And then we have olive oil. Add a little bit of that. And some Malden salt. And this is the dinner. Is it just me or does anybody else have to put their takeout into like a normal bowl or put it on a normal plate? I don't know what it is. I just like cannot eat out of the containers that they come in. I feel like it just tastes so much better when you put it into actual bowls. Okay, I just uploaded a video that I just edited and I'm going through and I'm gonna rewatch it and then add all the items to the description of the video guys i also don't know what is wrong with my camera the lighting is so weird now and i don't know why but i'm gonna end off this vlog because i'm gonna start editing this video and i just want to be like all um organized with my videos and stuff before this weekend and also i feel like i don't know i have just felt so like weird about my videos and like really I don't I've kind of like felt bad about them. I don't know just like what I was talking about earlier like comparing myself to Like my old videos or just like the things that I used to do How I feel like I used to like travel so much more and just like show more stuff and now I feel like I just like haven't done any of that And I've just been like At home and like in Boston like not really like going anywhere but I really have just been like working on things that I haven't been able to show and like Emma and I launched our podcast so we are like constantly recording for that and I've just been like chilling and I don't know I feel like it's just like made my videos I don't know why I'm like thinking that it's making my videos boring because of like a few comments that I've seen but 
I don't know, it's just been like making me overthink and I'm like, is this stupid? Like, was this vlog the whole thing that I filmed of my day? Like, is this just like not exciting because I feel like I like didn't really do anything that was like exciting. I really just have been like working so much lately and I feel like my past few videos, I've just been like showing that. But anyway, I think I'm just like in my own head, but I am gonna start editing this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, I love you all so much and thank you for always supporting me and being there for me like throughout the years And I really appreciate your support more than you know So I just want to say that but I love you and I hope you have a good night and I'll see you in my next video